Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdale. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Today I'm going to show you a couple different ways to climb up steep slopes with yeah, your crampons. How do you climb those steep slopes with your crampons? I'm going to show you a couple different ways to climb up steep slopes with your crampons different techniques, their different values, and their drawbacks. If you wouldn't mind, please leave a comment on this video and let me know how I'm doing and give me some ideas for other videos. Let's get right into it. As you can see, I've got a nice steep slope to demonstrate the different approaches of climbing up with crampons. One of the challenging parts is the boots because the boots don't really flex too much and crampons are like wearing kitchen knives on your legs. There are different approaches to climbing this, and I'm going to show you just how to do it. The first and most direct is the direct kick step. The first technique is using a direct kick step where you toe into the ice and then you step up. You toe into the ice and you step up. Toe into the ice and step up. Now, immediately you can see the problem because as I'm stepping up, my heel is way above the ice and that causes me to flex down and really crank on my calves. This is the direct approach, but it is also one of the most energy consuming because every time you step, you're doing a calf flex and it also causes your boot to potentially slide up and down. It is definitely not enjoyable. The reason you might want to do this is it's so steep that you might want to kick out a step and stand, but every step you have to kick and even then your heel may not grab on. The kick step is my least favorite approach to climbing steep slopes because of the energy it takes to drive in. It does have some advantages because You've got the power and the grip on forward, but it kills your calves really quick. So if you're climbing up a thousand foot, 30, 35 degree slope, you're gonna die. That's where the second technique comes in, and that's the duck walk. That's one of my more favorite techniques. So instead of kicking straight into the slope, you turn your boot about 45 degrees out and step, and all of a sudden, your entire boot contacts the slope. And now, when I listen to that raven, I step, my whole foot is contacted on the slope, step, and it's easy to go up. I'll demonstrate that again. So you kick your feet out here, you step, it does push your toes a bit angled up, but it is so, much easier. That allows you to climb a slope almost directly. The advantage of that technique is you don't have to go left or right or anything else and it's very efficient and you can drive straight up a slope. You can even angle off a little bit. The disadvantage is if you want to angle off some more one foot or the other it's going to get cranked over. So this is where the third technique comes in of sidestepping. So instead of putting your boot out to the left and putting your boot out to the right, sidestepping instead, you step, let's see, you, uh, you step uphill here, fully square or perpendicular to the slope, then you step over, you step here, you step over, you step here, and you step over. Okay, let me show you that again. I'll go the other direction. Left foot up the heel, heel first, you step here, you step over, you step, you step there again, and you continue marching up. Now, the big advantage of this technique is that it allows you to take a more traverse approach to a slope and so instead of plowing straight up and killing yourself that allows you to 
power down and take a more diagonal approach. Now, this is usually for much more direct ascents, like above 14,000 foot at on Denali. Now, ideally, you would actually switch back, back and forth on a face if you can. That takes the least energy because as you're moving uphill, you're marching uphill, but not marching as fast. The inclination is to go super fast, but that kills you because you get really tired. The one big drawback to the sidestep technique is you're always stepping over your boot, and there is the possibility of snagging this rear heel crampon into your boot or on your laces or whatever. So this requires a lot of concentration. Also, it begins wearing out your hips because you're having to constantly throw up and down. And then you'll have to eventually get tired, switch around, and march like this. I've seen guides march up and down side hilling and they just blow everybody away. But you've got to work on those hip flexors and IT bands because it's going to kill you. So those are three different techniques. The fourth is taking out your ice axe if it's really, really tough and chiseling entire steps. So you can either step into them or step sideways, right or left. But you'll notice my steps are already crumbling. So now I have to pick some more with my ads and then I'm good to go. Now, then I can step straight with my crampons. As you can see, that is probably the least efficient approach, but in a hard ice slope where you're not getting any purchase and you're stepping perhaps sideways and your ankle is rocking, that can really hurt on a really steep slope. So chiseling out steps makes it easier and, and less torque on your ankle, but boy, it is tough on you. So those are four different techniques for climbing up steep slopes with crampons. The first is the direct method, the kick step, set your heel back. It really works over your Achilles and your calf. The second is the duck walk, where you walk outside like a herringbone. That's probably my favorite approach because it's the most versatile. I can move back and forth and it doesn't put too much torque on me as long as I don't swing my feet out. The third is the sidestep. That is the least torquey on me because I'm basically standing in the same direction and I step over a step, but you can fall over and you can stomp yourself. And the fourth misery approach is to chisel out steps and that just wears you out. But if you've got nothing else, that can do it. So hopefully you found this video useful of different ways to climb up a steep slope with your crampons. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on the video. And if you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel to support it. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe and warm out there.